We can let this be the big announcement. All right. All right. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell the way you don't miss a notification from me and follow me on my social media at breland.hunt. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the vlog. Today has been a very non, is it not conventional? Not traditional day. So I have been working on the hill now for about um, two weeks. This is my third week, but last week was really like my first full week and it was madness. <laughs> if you guys watched my first Day vlog you know that my direct superior left on Friday so we had all these events throughout the week and I was literally just trying to learn everything that I could because I knew that she was gonna be gone by the end of the week this is my first full week without her very curious to see how everything goes but it's also a recess week thank God do I know what a recess means Yes. Do I know it well enough to describe it to you all? No. All I know is that my congresswoman is not in the office. I am 80% in the office, which is all on Capitol Hill. But during recess, I can work from home virtually on Tuesdays. And then on Fridays, I can leave at 3 p.m. Not the worst thing ever. Not as good as being completely hybrid, but it's not the worst thing either. So today is Tuesday, so it's my first day where I'm able to work from home to meetings today. So that's what you guys saw me do earlier. I will say that last week when I wasn't vlogging because I was trying to get my life together child, I misunderstood and I thought that it was every Tuesday or I didn't think it was every Tuesday, but I thought last week was also a recess week. Monday we were in recess, but then like Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday we weren't, but then Friday we were. I was so confused child. So Tuesday I didn't show up. My boss texted me was like, hey, you coming in? And I was like, I thought we did today virtual and she was like no no babe no hun yeah that's how last week went for me also if you guys have listened to the podcast you know that i'm just trying to get back on my disciplined era we're in our zoom season and trying to stick to what i say i'm going to do just not make excuses and stuff like that but at the same time i have to be flexible because life be life in so with that being said my new morning routine has me waking up at 5 a.m 
But today, I did not wake up at 5 a.m. It's okay though, as you guys saw, I was still able to go to the gym after I did some work things. I also ran an errand, but I didn't vlog that earlier. I'm just kind of like procrastinating starting the vlog. But anyway, we have started, we're here now. I'm just putting away my dishes really quick, and then I'm going to eat some of my meal prep, and then I'm going to take an everything shower, include washing this hair because it is so dirty, and then I'm going to actually head to alternate night at my church. I should leave in like 30 minutes and like, if I really want to take an everything shower, I should have given myself an hour. But I have been having to like condense my workouts, doing them in the morning time because I'm just trying to still, again, get into the habit of waking up that early. And so if I wake up at like 5.10 instead of five o'clock, that's like the difference between me being able to do the Stairmaster and me not being able to do the Stairmaster. But I've also been telling myself, done is better than perfect. So I'd rather go to the gym and only be able to do a 30 minute workout and be like, if I can't do a 40 minute strength training exercise and do the Stairmaster and stretch for 20 minutes, then it's like, no. At this point in time, we have to be okay with with like 200 calorie quick little workouts as long as they are consistent every single day. I say that to say that today I was excited to have like a full long workout because I've been doing like these short workouts in the morning time and so I definitely went a little bit over the amount of time that I should have been working out but it's because in my mind I'm thinking to myself finally I could work out without a time limit. If you know you know there's something just so freeing about being able to be at the gym for however long you want to because you legit can actually be at the gym for a really long time if you allow yourself to be. Anyway, I just want to go ahead and start off the vlog. Hope you guys are doing well. That's what's going on over here. We are just going to have a regular week in my life as I really try and be disciplined and stick to it. And it shouldn't be that hard because it's recess week, but it's also my first week without a supervisor. So we're just out here figuring it out, trying to be great. And yeah, I'm going to eat, then shower, and we'll talk later. church now look at my hair <laughs> how embarrassing um it's drying i forgot to record in there because i was a little bit late and then i ended up talking to my pastor for like 20 minutes uh because y'all we got some talk we got to talk about some things but i'm actually about to stop by wegmans because i need to get me some laundry detergent because i ran out and i wasn't able to complete my sunday reset so i'm about to go do that and then go home and then i need to edit a video because i need that to go up tomorrow because I won't be doing community time. Oh, it's still cold outside. Yeah, y'all, I'm very concerned with the way it is still so cold, even though it is the end of March. Like, let it warm it up, please. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. I'm sorry, it's like pitch black, but that is what I'm up to. I did wake up, I went to the gym, I realized, or I just thought about how I can actually take my breakfast to go with me. I have meal prepped a breakfast scramble, and so I just realized that like, the first hour at work is very chill, thank God. It's just like, we're just getting here, you know what I'm saying? We're just waking up, let's not do too much. 
which I really appreciate. I can definitely warm up my breakfast when I get there. I just decided that eating on the train, it just kind of grosses me out a little bit. It's just too dirty. Like, I'm sorry, the train is just too dirty for it. Because now I can just put this in my lunchbox. I'll eat this for breakfast, and then I'll also have something packed for lunch. I've also decided to start packing the snack, which is so strange because I'm not a snacker per se, but there's something about, I think, like waking up so early in the morning and then like the whole commute after lunch before it's time for me to go home. Okay, that's my alarm. I need to leave the house. Um, yeah, I'm like hungry again. I tried one of these and I actually picked up a few more at the grocery store yesterday. They're basically like adult Lunchables, but I really love these because these toasted sesame flavored rounds are so good and they come with like salami and cheese. So I'm just about to pack one of these, a factor meal and my breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna make me a, did I tell you guys about how I've tried chai latte i don't necessarily love it i went through one full box of it kind of putting it in my rotation between like green tea and coffee because like today's a day where i definitely could do coffee because it may be a little bit of a longer day but honestly the reason why i don't want to do it is because i don't have enough time to brew it and i say brew it we all know i use these k-cups so it's not really brewing but breakfast lunch and snack are packed now let's do our caffeine i've been having trouble with my caffeine spilling so I'm gonna put it in this cup I think the problem with this tea is that I wasn't sure how much to use like but I think after this cup that should last me the full day you know what I can do I can add some of this Alani protein shake okay I just be mixing stuff up y'all I just be making stuff up as I go along but let's see I'm gonna use this as my milk instead the Alani new protein shake and uh yeah, okay, cool. And then y'all, I'm about to be super extra. Let me turn on this light. Okay, I don't know if that made it really yellow. I'm also about to add this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Because it's vanilla flavored, it kind of works a little bit as a creamer. I do feel like I noticed a difference in my skin when I'm drinking this somewhat consistently, but I can only really put it like in my coffee. I also have like a matcha one, but I haven't been drinking matcha as much. So let's see, these together. I'm still gonna put some creamer in it because I like my stuff sweet. I'd add a couple of pumps of vanilla. Mix her together. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit of work today. I know I literally like just go in and then I don't vlog, but y'all have to understand it's like a new environment. It's literally the government. I'm, I'll just be trying not to get in trouble. Oh, I didn't take my vitamins, but I can't. I'm gonna have to take when I get back home. I'll try and vlog a little bit on my phone. I'll see you guys at work.
your chance to see what you made of What are you afraid of? Today was really good. Like I mentioned to you all, yesterday I was virtual and today I went into the office because it's a recess week and so the office was even more chill because I believe they split the people in the office up. So like my chief of staff, actually he has COVID so I don't know if he normally comes in every day but he wasn't there as well as like my legislative director wasn't there. So it was like, you know, Nobody was really there for real. Um, and then as you guys saw, my co-fellow, well, she's not my co-fellow. She's not in the same foundation. Well, she's not in the same fellowship as me, but she is another health fellow. Um, she brought her dog because we can have dogs on the hill, which I absolutely love. So that was a great surprise. I am eating my snacks. I didn't get to eat it there. Um, I actually took my... I think I told you guys I took my content laptop with me so that I could edit the video that I wanted to go up today and although I snuck away and I started editing I wasn't able to finish so I'm sitting down I'm gonna finish it right now and then have it go up tonight because although it's Wednesday I'm not doing community time tonight this is the first Wednesday since like literally Christmas that I purposely I'm not doing community time and the reason why is because tonight the mayor of DC is hosting a Washington Women of Excellence Awards and as you guys know I think I'm officially going to have my new title holder page by the time you guys are watching this video so we can let this be the big announcement. I am going to be returning back to compete for the title of Miss District of Columbia 2024. I'm excited to continue on in this America opportunity. I do have a new title. Last year I did my service and I competed as a Miss Navy Yard. And this year I actually just got my new sash in the mail and I haven't unboxed it so what better time than now what do you guys think my new title is gonna be not to spoil it there's nothing better than unboxing a new sash okay this year I will be competing at Miss DC with the local title of iconic iconic it's absolutely iconic now i know i literally been working on capitol hill for 2.5 seconds but um i thought it was just a really cute local title so i will be competing at miss dc as miss capitol hill i will have a new instagram it's my 2024 set oh my gosh i'm super excited so if you guys don't want to wait for the pageant diaries and you want to keep up with all the community service that i do as miss capitol hill you guys should definitely follow that page as well as if you are so inclined and you want to help me out on my journey i do have to fundraise for miss dc this money does go to the miss dc scholarship fund and it is tax deductible you can do it on my spot fund i will have the link in the description box down below as well as in the bio of my new miss capitol hill page so definitely go over to instagram follow Miss Capitol Hill and if you don't mind please make a donation I do have a goal and I would love to be top fundraiser this year so yeah we're actually going to go to our first event as Miss Capitol Hill tonight Miss DC 2023 June Bonet. she invited a couple of us to come to this event with her and so I figured that this would be the perfect debut of Miss Capitol Hill so I'm going to that tonight which is why I'm not doing community time first things first I want to finish editing this video because I want this vlog to go up tonight in place of community time and I'm just about finished I have about five minutes left and then I just need to um, upload it while it's exporting I should be able to touch up my makeup figure out my outfit and then upload it to YouTube and then we can head our way to the event okay I know it's like kind of dark here but I think I'm gonna go with this dress I literally don't know what to wear because I asked some of the girls who are already there by the way it took me forever to finish editing that video it's almost like 6 30 now so but I'm not gonna stress it I'm gonna get there when I'm supposed to get there. I tried to do, you know, some makeup before I left, so I don't really have to add that much, but like 
knowing that I'm gonna want to take a picture the difference between like like this makeup I'm sorry it looks really pretty in person personally I think I look really really pretty when I do my makeup like this however comma in pictures it just doesn't hit like it just it it just doesn't look good I don't have too much time I don't I don't really have any time to do much of anything but I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow and then I'm gonna add some lashes and I wanted to wear something to where I could wear a dark lip because that will really help you know add just some dimension to the face I'm like looking for my brushes um and I technically could do like a red lip sometimes I see people and they be doing red lips to anything <laughs> low-key and I'm like but it kind of eats like red white and blue Miss America like I low-key could do oh I should do like a blue underneath my eye um so it's like I could do that I could do a red lip right now if I wanted to again I just feel like because I don't have that much makeup on nude won't look good in pictures like it won't it just doesn't look like I have makeup on in a picture and I like to shape shift <laughs> I like to shape shift okay I'm not I'm literally just throwing eyeshadow on throwing it on oh gosh I added a little something okay that plus some lashes I got a new pack of my favorite Amazon lashes find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z okay y'all this is the final look I did no red lip because I did do the eyeliner underneath my eye and then I was gonna carry another purse but ended up carrying this one because of this and then I changed my earrings but anyway this is the final look and I'm gonna try and walk there I don't know wish me luck the good news is that it's not actually raining raining honestly I just got this umbrella here for dramatic effect <laughs> the bad news is that of course I'm a little bit later than I actually want it to be and Miss DC Jude I think she already presented so we'll see what even of the event I can participate in when I get there Light, let it shine shine make it blind watch me Okay, y'all, I'm home and I'm not gonna lie to you all. I'm a little bit disappointed. Okay, the event was fine. The only problem is that, you no, know, it took me a minute to get there because I was editing my vlog, but I really wanted to show up for you guys on Wednesday, even though I was gonna be there for community time. I ended up walking there. Literally, as I was walking in, Jude, Miss DC, texted our group chat and was like, all right, I'm leaving. I was like, where are you going? What are you talking about? And I was like trying to text some of the other girls like in the group chat, but I don't have their personal numbers. So they weren't responding to me. So I was just there by myself. And I just, I'm so codependent nowadays. Like y'all know, I do things by myself. I've traveled by myself. I go places by myself all the time. But like when I want to go somewhere with somebody, I want to go with somebody. You know what I'm saying? So especially like I really don't like doing title holder events alone because I think first world problems, there's no point in complaining. The point is that I attended the entire show by myself and then when I was getting ready to leave, I actually ran into one of my coworkers who works at the foundation and she was able to take some pictures for me, which is the main reason why I don't like to go to events alone as a title holder because you know you want pictures but then you have to ask strangers and whatever. Um, honestly. I could have worn what I wore to work, which I thought I was thinking. And that's why I was texting the girls. Like, I was like, what are you guys wearing? I'm like, is this a business casual thing? Like, is this a reception thing? Is it like DC is very interesting because it started at six, which is after work. Anything that starts that soon on a weeknight, nine times, like eight times out of 10 is like business reception, like type of wear. But also I was dressed a little bit more casually because it was a recess day. So I could have worn that honestly, like with some boots. It wasn't, listen, we're not gonna count this as my first appearance, okay? It really wasn't. I really just went and I watched the show and I supported the mayor and I took pictures and I talked to some people, but yeah, 
Mm -mm. We're going to try again. I actually do have some community service this weekend. I believe on Saturday. So I will continue the vlog until then and I will show you guys that. Anyway, that's not really the bad part. The bad part is that the timing of everything just kind of didn't work out because I was late. So I missed Miss DC because working on my vlog. Then when I got to the event and Miss DC wasn't there, I saw that my vlog had like four copyright strikes. I was like, oh my God. I just, I'm just so sick and tired of using copyright free music. Do you, are y'all okay if I just vent for a second? okay thank you so much thanks girl I appreciate it <laughs> it's the same space okay cool I am so sick and tired of using copyright free music I feel like it's boring I feel like it doesn't really allow me to like show my personality and like tell a story like I really want to my vlogs and so I've been trying to dibble and dabble in like some non-copyright music that's like just R&B and rap and stuff like that but it's hard because I don't like it when it has a lot of cursing in it and then it can say it's not copyright and then you upload it and then you get copyright strike so I got four of them and so I had to take down the video and like re-edit it but obviously like I was at the event so I just got back home it's 8 50 now and I just changed the copyright and so really had the video premiere to go up at eight o'clock I could possibly get it up at like 9 30 but I'm like is that too late that's not community time community time was at eight like oh it just was a big today was just a big I don't okay I don't want to be dramatic the whole day wasn't an L but this particular situation just this whole evening just did not go as I planned so I guess I'll just have this video go up tomorrow <sighs> in the meantime I do have an unboxing no I said that I was doing a no buy and honestly I've done really well but I did do a really big Amazon order last week that stuff should be coming in tomorrow so I'll show you guys that in this vlog as well a lot of things that I just needed this I didn't need especially because y'all know I just bought a purse but it was on sale that's always my excuse but it's also always true i feel like this purse is different <laughs> i have a problem i promise y'all i'm gonna stop after this are you ready for her grand reveal Ta -da! isn't she so cute now i really feel like i can justify having two pink purses like I'm breathing <laughs> like you know what I'm saying be for real um isn't she so cute I just felt like she was I'm sorry I literally have this one lamp on which is why like the lighting is like low-key eating but it's also like really bright but you guys can see like this is the true color back here it's just like the perfect pink I love the gold detail on it I love this gold chain here it also is a crossbody which I love and I just when I saw it I was like but this just looks like the perfect purse like it just looks like I need this purse like I just need it I need it again y'all know I really do wear listen I wore this purse today like y'all I literally be wearing my purses you know what I'm saying so it's never a waste of money ever 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 I love this size I actually think it's really nice a couple of vlogs ago I got the Telfar bag I do like it but also the pinks are different um so I thought it was okay and it was justifiable having both I promise you I promise you yes I did buy this in the middle of my no buy but this is all I bought and I promise you I'm being good I promise you I'm being good anyway I'm embarrassing myself I'm gonna eat dinner make sure this vlog is set and ready to go for tomorrow and then get ready for bed because we gotta wake up at five o'clock in the morning tomorrow and do it all over again hey y'all good morning about to start doing my makeup and I thought about two things that I haven't told you guys so one I don't think I've mentioned that when we are at recess or on recess or whatever the verbiage is for it we can actually come casual to work well business casual and every office is different my office is business casual my office says no jeans and no sneakers so that leaves you with what business casual I'm really hoping I can wear sandals when the summertime comes because Ciao. but anyway I wanted to mention that because today it is raining really really bad and I've been wanting to wear this outfit because all I think about in my free time <laughs> are just like outfits and videos ideas my version of daydreaming is just thinking of outfits anyway I was thinking about like how casual but also comfortable but also like somewhat professional this outfit would be this is basically I guess I have to do a quick outfit of the day y'all like I don't even know what you're wearing girlfriend sorry y'all I had the lights off in the morning time because 
vibes okay uh this top it does say 1881 which represents spellman the year we were founded and one hbcu woo -woo -wop, we all know this um you can't buy it though because a spellman alum created them and she sold them specifically like as a fundraiser to the Spellman Alumni Association. Anyway, you guys also can't see but I have like on these blue slack pants and they're wide legs. They're like navy. Anyway, this is the fit. Um pretty comfy and casual like I wouldn't wear this if we just had to like dress up normally but actually the first day that my boss told me like oh by the way tomorrow is recess so we can dress casually I was like oh crap what do I wear and mind y'all I don't even wear jeans but just the fact that I couldn't wear jeans really stumped me so I've just been thinking about okay like when we're in recess and I can wear something a little bit more business casual like what will that look like because today is raining I was like this is the perfect time for this outfit so we are continuing the blue vibes the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys was that I mentioned at some point in time in my life on these vlogs because I just be talking and who knows when where and how I mentioned to you guys that I was doing another fellowship it was a virtual one with the Student National Medical Association the fellowship was for global health and basically taking online global health classes as well as conducting research with a group of peers I'm actually really excited because they let us know that that research is going to be published in the Student National Medical Association journal so an additional publication for this year that I didn't expect. I'm on a roll. I think I'm going to have maybe like five by the end of this year, which is iconic if I can say so myself like I literally went from having zero publications to five in one year that's really dope on Saturday we gave our final presentation in front of like the other cohort members and it went well but I'm officially done so I finished my first fellowship with the Student National Medical Association and I didn't vlog it for you guys because I wasn't vlogging this weekend it really wasn't much to show I literally just like got on camera and I you know gave the presentation and it was over and it was really really long because we had to watch like every single group present but woohoo yay I'm actually really sad because right now as we speak people are leaving for AMEC and I really wanted to go but I also knew that I was going to be like newer in my office and I wasn't sure like who was I supposed to ask for time off and I also couldn't get a ticket because I waited so long but then I ended up getting a scholarship to get a ticket so I like this would have been the best time to go to AMEC like in the timing of my life in like of the year but it's not like kind of work wise so Unfortunately, I'm not going to AMEC because I would have had an opportunity to present there as well. My group is going to go and they're going to hold it down, but I am so sad because I, I hear about AMEC every single year and yeah, I'm not able to go. But hopefully I'll go next year. If you guys went to AMEC, let me know. How did you actually? Don't let me know. <laughs> a moment of being by myself here so um i decided to vlog oh it's gonna be we're on facetime we're on facetime bestie we had three meetings this morning um one of them got canceled so one was in person and one was virtual just for reference the first one was with the lactation network which i thought was a really great meeting because i forget how important breast milk lactation those services are to maternal health in general so i was really appreciative of that conversation and i also really enjoy hearing again from people who are a passionate about what they care about as well as very um informative like they know what they're talking about so i absolutely loved hearing from them actually i love it when previously been health policy legislative aid understand kind of like how to come in and say like hey this is who we are this is what we want this is the first problem this is our ask this is our second problem this is our ask this is our third problem this is our ask i think sometimes like listening to people advocating for their issues um, can be a little bit kind of like what are you asking us here and now being on this side I'm like okay once I meet with you all I have like a B and C that I can do from here and if you don't kind of give me what I'm going to my boss with then I kind of can't move forward with anything so I really love it when people come with folders or when people come with you know data sets or if you come with specific bills ask numbers funding things like that because yeah we could brainstorm like we need change in this way but when you come with a direct thing like i want to change on the breland is allowed to wear pink every day 
for the rest of her life bill and I want to increase the funding currently it's at a hundred million and I want it to be at a hundred billion then I can be like cool I can go to my boss and say can you sign on to the increased funding for this or can you sign on to this letter <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I love it when people actually basically know how to advocate because it makes my job easier instead of me having to do the research I'm like who are you guys why are you here why is this important what can I do about it like you when you're coming to specifically I guess anybody like whether it's health education finance veteran affairs like whatever it is those are the things that you want to tell the staffer when you're meeting with them that way they can relay that information to the higher up so it can get to the representative anyway so that was my first meeting and then like I said my second meeting got canceled and then my third meeting was with like um sex education which I thought was really interesting as well that one was virtual and then I started working on kind of like some other assignments that I have to do and I kind of just want to brain dump to let you guys know what I kind of do <laughs> Every day but also to talk about it why I understand it or how I understand it because my understanding will change and it will improve as time goes on so one of the assignments that I can be given is basically giving recommendations so like I mentioned before somebody can come to the office and say hey I want for you to sign on to this letter and basically a letter is like a whole bunch of people coming together to make a point person an organization a company an agency a group of people a coalition like whoever can start a letter and the more people that they get to sign on to it the more impact it will have to whoever they're sending the letter off to the people in congress whether it be again agencies it could be insurance companies like whatever it is and so it's our job when we are given all the information to decide like or recommend do I recommend the congresswoman to sign on to this bill to sign on like co-sponsor this bill to sign on to this letter and basically that's like do we support it or do we not support it and so I have to get all this information and then read it and then create like this recommendation which is just like a short email that I sent to my legislative director and I'll talk about what it is, why it's important, how it impacts my specific uh, district that my congresswoman serves, and you know, what it will do, uh, who's the lead, things like that. Like basically a spark notes version. So it's kind of just like doing a, a summary of all of this. So, and I had two of those and I did those today. So now I have a bit of a break. My next meeting is not until two and it's like 12, it's probably like 1 p.m. now. So I had like a two hour break, but yeah, after my meetings, I basically took an hour and I worked on those two things. And then the second letter, I'm not completely done yet. There is a little bit of like wanting to make sure that if I'm recommending it, because there was like this vote that happened last week where my congresswoman voted against something. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't contradicting what she previously supported. And I think that's the only thing, like being new to the role, everything kind of seems like common sense because it's like, oh, this is health equity. This improves access to care. This improves, you know, quality of life. But just like it's still politics. So there's some times where it's like, oh, yeah, it would be nice and we would agree. But like the congresswoman can't agree because of this reason or we can't sign on because of this reason. And sometimes it's just like an automatic yes. And I think what's really helpful is knowing just like the pillars of what she finds important, which is why it's a really big figure in the maternal health care space here on Congress, because whenever there is something that is pro-maternal health, she's either the leader in it or she's like quick to sign on to it. And so she's a really big supporter. For those reasons, a lot of people come to her, but then that also like floods our gates with like, you said that you care about mom, so what about this? What about this? Sign on to this and help us with this. Um, so I say all that to say that that's what I was working on, but I kind of got stuck at the end of it because I had to do a little bit more research to make sure that it was in line with not only just like her priorities, but also just like her current political stance, which I need more uh, research on because A, I'm new here, and B, I know health stuff, I don't necessarily know politics stuff. So that's what I'm working on, and when I come back, I'll have three more meetings, and then I'll have the rest of my evening to finish off some other... Uh, assignments I guess similar to that if I get kind of assigned anything and by assigned it basically just means that I'll have things coming into my emails making sure that I am scheduling people when they want to meet either virtually or in person so like we're having meetings we're scheduling meetings, and then we're doing like the homework for the meetings and then we also have to um, kind of like write a write-up after every meeting so I also need to do that this evening and that's kind of like my workflow 
And yeah, so this is my lunch time. I drank coffee today and I also ate my breakfast around like 9.30. So I'm kind of not hungry right now. So I've just been trying to find different spaces that I can go to to be alone and not be in my cubicle, especially if I want to like talk on the phone or even just like edit like short form content or whatever on my phone. So I found this area here, which is really nice. So I've just been here chilling and uh, when I get hungry, I'll go back up and I want my food and I'm very big on like stepping away. <laughs> And being by myself so I can just do what I want to do and just not feel like you know whatever like I technically get an hour lunch so on the days where I'm not meeting up with my like, co-fellows or if I'm not going like to a briefing or a hearing where they're like providing lunch or whatever like I kind of just want to be by myself so I'm gonna edit some short form content maybe post on Instagram and I'll talk to you guys probably after work hello okay so i am back home from work it was a lovely but a busy thursday and the second half of my day ended up having back-to-back -back meetings all in person and you know health is just so broad it's very interesting it's like sometimes i'm like oh i know exactly what you guys are talking about like i advocate for this i care about this i've talked to a person about this i know about this issue i know about this bill i know about this i know about this law i know about whatever sometimes i'm like i had no idea that this was even an issue i had no idea that this was even a thing um anyway so that's what the last three meetings were about which is take a little bit more brain power and i also take back everything that i said <laughs> during my pre-lunch because I sent off my recommendation for a letter and I was like, yeah, this should be pretty easy like for the congresswoman to sign on to because whatever. But then there's always the politics side to things. Oh my, my apartment is a mess. My apartment is a mess. It's like, it's like level, it's like level one a mess, you know, like the couch just isn't made up. Some things just need to be put back. A good like wiping down dishes, like maybe level two. It's not like level five, like it's not bad, but it's like, all right all right all right so i need to clean um i guess i kind of do that tonight i'm like fiending to go to a dance class i think i told you guys about how yesterday i chose to go to the miss dc event instead of going to a dance class and so i kind of regret that i wish i would have went to the dance class and there is one tonight but i ate all my meal prep so i need to cook dinner tonight so it would be a good time to like cook dinner clean up around here and also get started on Sunday's video that way I'm not waiting until Saturday it's just trying to be proactive and me not having to wait to the last minute or the day of especially because this Sunday's video is the podcast so it's going to take a little bit more work to you know edit everything and get it on up instead of like a regular vlog anyway I'm sitting here because I want to do an unboxing for you guys I know we're on a no buy but as I told you all I ended up buying some things from Amazon and honestly because I was on a no buy I was just creating a list of things like okay next time I do go shopping like these are some of the things that I legit need like a lot of this stuff isn't a lot of it not all of it but a lot of it isn't um necessarily a want but it is a need sort of kind of I will say the thing that ultimately made me press purchase were the fact that the airpods were on sale so I got even though these literally look dirty and the reason why I got these because I do currently have a pair of airpods but fun fact I don't know if I mentioned this to the vlog or not but um, my AirPods are mismatched. When I was at the Hagerstown outlet after Miss Maryland in 2022, right? So my mom ended up giving me her AirPods. So I had one AirPod and I was missing another and she gave me her set, but I still wanted to use my case. And so because of that, I can listen to music on my AirPods, but I can't talk on the phone. Like they can't hear me. It sounds like I'm talking underneath water. And I do have my Beats headphones, which works out when I'm like working out. But like, for example, now, especially when I am taking the public transport to work people will call me on my way home on my way to work or whatever and I it's okay like I use my headphones that you have to plug in but obviously like having airpods and not being able to use them for all the functions that you want to use airpods for I was like it's basically time for a new pair also when I was in Alabama my little thing came off and I don't know where it's at like this is how they supposed to look come on come on out um like the little thing on it fell off and I also know that you can buy them offline as well which I would have done but honestly I just needed a new pair because they just weren't working so new airpods these are the second generation I think I probably have the first generation for mine 
I'm excited to finally not be on the struggle bus. The only thing is that one, I wasn't able to get it engraved because they were on sale on Amazon. So I think it's like $230, they were like $173 or something, which is like the cheapest you can get AirPods. Oh, it's so sad without my engravement. Also, the second generation is updated, so it doesn't take the lightning cord anymore, which is so annoying because, yeah, everything that I have is lightning. Like, I just have cords sitting around here. But I do have a cord, I think, yeah, for my laptop, so... Oh, ding, <laughs> made a noise. The new babies, so let's set it up to my phone. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, a mosh posh of really random things. Let's first talk about skincare. My skin is not doing great right now, but it was doing good just a week ago. And there are three things that I have been going to Silver Mirror. I have a monthly subscription with them for facials. And I'm really excited. I've gone to my esthetician three times now. And next time I go, I'm going to get a pill. I'm nervous because like, obviously pills are not like flattering, but I need to get my skin together because like, the hyperpigmentation and everything has just been really out of control lately. She recommended a couple of things to me. The first are non-sterile ducal reflection beauty wipes. So to basically use this as a disposable wash. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I was trying to hold that in so bad, but like it was coming and it didn't want to come. And I was just like, I'm just going to talk anyway. Anyway, these are basically like disposable uh, face cloth. I didn't actually know it was going to be this many. I thought it was going to be maybe like this much. So this is actually a lot. And this is only a couple of dollars. So I'm going to use these and see how that improves my skin. I also got another thing of the Clean Club towels. And I'm wondering if I could double these up and use them when they're dry and also when they're wet. I guess we'll see. And then maybe then I won't have to purchase these anymore. And the last thing that she told me I'm lying but that's not in here she told me to get five more of my pillowcases and change my pillowcases every other day I was like oh my gosh like that's a lot but she was like if you ever like lay down on your pillows when your hair is out the oils in your hair like that could be and I was like I always wrap my hair so that shouldn't be the case and even I'm trying to like change my head scarves too at least like halfway through the week and then wash them at the end of the week and things like that I'm just trying like little things just a little bit of a background for these things it's actually a continuation of what I was saying earlier today in regards to the fact that there are some days where we get to dress casual on the hill and I was like how do you dress casual especially when it gets warm outside like what do you wear I feel like all of my clothes are either really really casual or they're really professional but I don't have things that are in the middle specifically when things are getting warm outside because you guys know I don't really like to wear pants like I'm a skirt so I'm a dresses kind of girl I'm looking for a more business casual skirt dress. oh I lied here are my satin pillowcases actually they did come in this nice packaging i'll have them linked in my amazon storefront underneath fashion finds but i just wanted to show you guys what i got because i'll probably be wearing them in the next couple of weeks this is the first one it kind of looks ugly <laughs> like low-key this plaid looks ugly in person but the reason why i chose it is because it's kind of like pink it also has a back zipper and as you can see it's kind of like a midi so it's a nice long length which makes it somewhat professional again you can even wear something like this to church the next one that i got is in y'all know my favorite this like maroon um burgundy color this one looks like it may be a little bit on the shorter side but it's still obviously long enough the material of this is also a really stretchy but it looks professional same thing it has like a back zipper these are from the brand by the way kate Kaysen. again just got them on amazon because i was looking for a one-stop shop oh my gosh that dog is huge is that a golden doodle as well Golden Doodles can be so big. Okay, I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but like across from my apartment, that dog is so big. Oh my gosh, like it looks like a huge like teddy bear. It looks like a human like, tra oh my gosh, it's so big. Um. Anyway, the dog park for the other apartment complex is over here. So I always get to see people like walk outside and go walk their dog. So sometimes if you just see me like looking, that's what I'm looking at. I'd be like, ooh, a doggy. But that dog, that golden doodle was huge. Anyway, this is the last skirt that I got and I love this one. I actually have a skirt that's like a very similar tweed pattern, but it's actually very short so who's this 
yes Sunday I'm having brunch with my family because it's Easter this Sunday so that was just the reservation calling to confirm anyway really like this I think I'll get a good use out of this skirt same thing it has a bag zipper it has pockets and it's a good length so those are a couple of things that I got as well very similar to what I'm wearing right now except for I'm like actually wearing a shirt which is fine because it's cold outside so this is like you know whatever but if I wanted to do the same look but not actually wear a shirt which is good for the hotter months um it's just like a little bib if you guys have never seen one of these before I have one that's white but it's just not white anymore like it's very dingy and I like that this two-pack came with black as well so oh like I'm probably sure I have like a Morehouse shirt like a Morehouse sweater and then like the black collar and then like this skirt like that would be cute right you see the vision you see the vision a really great way to make things more casual a little bit more dressy and y'all know my my style is very preppy so I like those what else do we have in here okay we have some new nose ring oh my gosh these are huge new nose rings because the one that I bought from the beauty supply store the little the diamond be falling out in 2.5 seconds and it's so ghetto oh I told you guys how my fire stick tv stopped working um I low-key haven't even been using the app because I haven't been watching TV. I've just been on YouTube, but hopefully this remote works because again, for some reason, this thing just don't work. And it's like the batteries, whatever. Hopefully this new one works. Headbands, I actually like to wear these when I work out. Kind of like how my hair is right now. I usually just like to tuck like this first half of my section like behind my head and just kind of like be out of the way. And I think that I'll also wear it out. These low key look a little ashy. But anyway, these are the scrunchie brand. <laughs> Again, very random, but a necessity that I needed. This is the tape and sticker lifter. Oh my gosh, I hate when I have to think so hard about words to use to describe things. Basically, the adhesive that keeps the caddy on the wall. The prongs for the caddy broke, so I need to replace the sticker, but I can't get the sticker off by itself, so I had to get this gook on. Basically, long story short, okay. Next thing, this is the new AirPod case that I got for my new AirPods. Again, I didn't necessarily need one, but I don't love the AirPod case that I currently have. I thought it was cute because it matches my phone case. That's kind of cute, which is interesting because I believe this is a velvet caviar phone case. So it was much more expensive. And look, the keychain comes with like this pearl detail to it. That's like really, really cute. Wait a minute, I'm gonna throw away the thing. Okay. Okay, keep this together very cute two more things I've done some vlogs before probably about like a year or two ago when I got it but you basically put in USB-C cord in it and I hurry up because this clip is so long I did not mean for this it's gonna be a nice long vlog I hope you guys enjoy but basically this allows for you to wrap your cord up when you are taking it this is actually an extra long like six feet cord so it's not actually gonna fit but you get the gist you wrap it up like this and then it has like little prongs where you can keep it and it's really good for transporting it again this is a very long cord, so it doesn't normally look like this but it keeps your cord organized it keeps it safe and then whenever you are like transporting your cord anywhere like whenever I'm traveling or again just having to take a charger with me I take the one that has this on it that way a I know it's mine and b I don't just have like a cord running around so I got another one of these because it just disappeared I have no idea where it went like I'm guessing maybe it was in my bag and it had to have fallen like on the metro that's the only excuse last thing that I got because I'm back to being a taking my lunch to work girly this is not as cute as I want it to be but I got some silverware I don't like how all the packaging is like is brown and blue like please be so for real um and I thought this was going to be plastic silverware wait a minute <laughs> I may return this um do I want this I wanted a pair of like rose gold slash pink um like it's just a silverware set and basically you keep it like this you keep it in your lunch box and that way when you're eating lunch like you always have a spoon or you always have a knife or something I don't know what this is child but this doesn't look rose gold to me I don't know what this color looks like it's kind of in between gold and like bronze I don't love it I actually chose this over the pink one that I was going to get and I also didn't know that it was going to be like hard material I thought it was going to be like plastic so I'm going to return these and I'm going to get the other ones that I was looking at most of it was like necessities right like not a lot of things that I didn't necessarily need 
need and we put need in quotation marks anyway i'm going to take off my makeup start making dinner cleaning up and then edit and that's really going to be the rest of my night so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow on friday we should have we should be getting into some fun things so i'll talk to y'all then YouTube videos started editing my podcast and now I'm getting ready to head out I think I mentioned to you all about how maybe not two events tonight the first one is at the gathering spot which is actually my first time going there surprisingly if you guys are familiar it's like a black social club in major cities and I've never been to one in, in DC before but they're having like a women's history link up so I'm gonna meet some of my co-fellows there and then afterwards some of them are gonna go to like a wizards game you guys my mom stopped having wizards uh, tickets we used to have like floor seats uh, season tickets or whatever so I would go multiple times a year this is the first year she hasn't done it in like so many years so I actually haven't been to a Wizards game and I also haven't been to a Wizards game and not sat on the floor so I think it's gonna be interesting but I'm going with my friends so it should be fun anyway I was going to wear what I wore today which I didn't show you guys but it's a rendition kind of of literally what I wore don't mind this to my Valentine's date but then I looked at the weather and it's kind of getting hot so I could just go in my sweater I have two choices I can either just do the sweater with no coat because it's like 62 degrees then we're gonna be outside like when it gets dark outside you know or I can switch and put this top back on I literally just got this out of the uh, clean hamper put this on and then wear my coat I feel like this is a little bit cuter this is a little bit frumpy but I was just trying to find a way for me to wear this um, sweater because I never get to wear it and I was trying to think about things to wear like I told you guys to work that was business casual anyway I'm gonna get change and then I already called my uber so it's probably almost here <laughs> Y'all, we are here at the Wizards game. Say hey to the vlog family. What's good, everybody? You know where we going? I don't know. You know where we Um, I think I told you guys this, didn't I? We at the Wizards game. We we made it. It's been a long day. to my neighbor who had a really cute dog. I'm literally just over here minding my business and 
I walk outside and I was like, dang, maybe I should go back and get my big puffer coat because it's supposed to be like 50 to 60 degrees, but I'm like, whatever. Ciao. I look down, I started walking, I said, oh, my feet feel, <laughs> okay, so not only am I going back to get my coat, but I'm also gonna go back and put some shoes on, which I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, good morning. I'm on my way to do some community service. I think I told you guys this earlier in the week, but today is really going to be my debut as Miss Capitol Hill because, yeah, I don't. Anyway, um, I'm going to be volunteering with distant relatives, and they basically have like this entire Saturday morning safe space for those who are unhoused in all different cities, but this one in particular, DC. So, food, haircuts. Uh, toiletries, clothing drive, all of the above. I'm not sure exactly what station I'll be working at today, but I'm sure it'll be helpful nonetheless. I need to make sure that I get some short form content for my title holder Instagram. So if you don't see any footage and you want to see what my experience was like today, definitely follow me over there. The Instagram is probably going to be like Miss Capitol Hill or something like that, or Miss Capitol Hill DC. Maybe a period in there. Who knows? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, just got back from service. Now we're on our way to get a fill-in and a pedicure, I believe. I'm kind of scared because last time I cheated on my nail tech, I think I literally cut the whole like grunt that I had um, out. Y'all know, I'm really trying to find a black nail tech here in the city. The girl that I've been going to, she's really nice, but her schedule, she's, not, she's a student, so she's not like available as often as I need her to be. And now that I am going into the office I can't like go in the middle of the day like I need like evening appointments and she just her I just need to be able to go to somebody like whatever last time I got my nails done you know I love them and I got pink and white ombre and you guys probably can't tell but like some the pink has oh my gosh you're so grown out but the pink has like sparkles in it so it's a, like a special mix and so I really should go back to her to get it like filled in but she is also online right now <laughs> <laughs> so like she does not have appointments and tomorrow is Easter. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to try and go to somebody else to get this filled in. And at the same uh, thing, I need to get my toes in. I literally haven't got my toes in, I think since like before Valentine's Day, if not before that. And I need to get acrylic on my toes because it's about to be sandal season. The way that my toes are literally just like cracked in half. I told you guys all the time, like, my toenails are so weak. Anyway, TMI. The point is that the last time I got a really good pedicure, I came to Spa Logic, which is actually the sponsor for Miss DC. Um, I didn't get my nails on there, though, only my toes. So I'm hoping that they, I can find somebody good. And maybe I'll just start going here. Um, if not, I think I'm going to have to, like, look for a new tech. And I found one that I liked online, but she wasn't in D.C. And, but she was, like, kind of near my church. So I'm thinking, like, maybe I can go before, like, Bible studies on Tuesdays once a month. Or, like, maybe after church sometimes on Sundays. But then I'm, like, my Sunday resets are not really important. So, I don't know. I've just been kind of, like, wanting to find a new nail salon in the city. But haven't had much luck. So, this is the before. Let's go in and hopefully they can do something to where we look cute again.
here are the finished nails. I can't show you guys my toes because I wear my hokas, but aren't they so cute? I didn't get them cut down a lot and I got a chrome over top of it. I think the chrome is cute, but they're like so long. I like never get my nails this long anymore, but I'm happy with it. Very cute. Good morning. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Oh, I'm glistening, honey. I am getting ready to go to church, obviously. I am trying to rush because I'm trying to like leave. Well, I wanted to leave early. <laughs> now at this point, my best bet is to leave on time. But I'm trying to leave because, you know, people like to show up out of nowhere who don't be at church normally and then show up on Resurrection Sunday, which I love that for them, you know, more power to them. However, comma, people have been sitting in my seat recently because I've been getting there a little bit later and I'm not happy about that. I'm like, can y'all get out of my seat? I uh, actually should really hurry up because yeah. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I have restarted reading Fourth Wing. Like I just started reading it all over again. At first I was like, let me just read the beginning again because maybe the first 100 pages, I feel like for any fantasy, it's like a lot of details and things and you're just trying to like read to get through it. You may not necessarily understand it. I don't know if I like this outfit or not. I literally didn't even really think about what I was gonna wear for Easter, unfortunately. But since Easter is earlier in the year, it's so cold outside that I was like, I think I'll probably wear this blazer dress. Then I remember that this blazer dress is like low key short. So I was like, maybe I can wear it with like, maybe I should do it like, hold on. Oh, I wish this was like actually a tube dress. I think this would look really cute, kind of like open like this, but I want to wear it closed. I'm trying to figure out what to do for the bottoms. Originally when I tried this on, I wore it with, cause I got this from Marshalls and I really need to hurry up. <laughs> like I need to leave like now. Yeah, I'm annoyed because the point is that I actually woke up early, but I was reading my book and it's literally a reread. Like be so for real. I literally hate everything. This is not good. <laughs> why am i so like okay okay whatever i don't know why i'm being like super critical it is what it is they see me step every single i think that's the problem is that i come cute literally like every sunday and i forget that other people really only dress up kind of like for easter so then i feel the need to <laughs> defend my title <laughs> but then i realized that i haven't put forth the effort i think i'm gonna wear these open-toed shoes since i got my toes done yesterday and i'm also going to brunch with my family afterwards so i'll just talk to you guys after church y'all yeah, look who decided to join me for church good morning, today good morning, good morning. oh man my eyes are watering you have no idea i was trying to make it here y'all it's 11:03. what time did you get here Oh, okay, why were you in the parking lot? I, said, Go I was side. walking in and then I saw you turn. I was like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see what kind of seat we can get up in here. Because I just know it'd be crazy. What is going on up in here today? Oh, man. Hey, good morning. Because. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I don't know. What I find out? Good morning. Church was amazing. What a surprise that my brother ended up joining me. They never tell me when my family just decides to come to my church. Anyway, um, here at the harbor now. Hey 
y'all i'm back home this is the end of the vlog i hope you all enjoyed it if you're not already make sure you are subscribed to this channel ring the bell the way you don't miss a notification from me leave a comment leave a like follow me on social media at breland.hunt and live each day to the fullest because you only live once and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching